Hey everyone, Margaret here. This past weekend, we saw the conclusion of the tournament with the largest prize pool in eSport history, Dota 2's The International. While Evil Geniuses were eventually crowned the victors, a number of different strategies were seen throughout the tournament, with heroes dropping in and out of popularity as teams tried to get the upper hand. We teamed up with that phage guy to get some statistics on how things change from day to day during the group stages, as well as any draft evolution from the end of the group stages into the playoffs. Because there was so much data, we decided to focus on statistically significant drafting changes with the same confidence cutoff as scientific publications, 95%. That means we're 95% confident that the changes are due to actual differences in the sets of games, rather than random variation. From day one's group play to day two, we only saw one statistically significant increase in combined picks and bans, clockwork. He dropped from a 76.7% pick slash ban rate down to only 40%, cutting his draft presence nearly in half. We did see a number of other heroes shuffling around in terms of picks or ban rates. However, with Naga Siren skyrocketing in popularity while Disruptor and Skywrath Mage both saw their picks drop to zero, Earthshaker also saw a drop in pick rate from 63.3% down to 30%. But it was accompanied with the only statistically significant increase in ban rate, meaning that his overall presence in the draft remained relatively constant. The changes from day two to day three saw more significant shifts in overall picks and bans, with two heroes seeing increases and Crystal Maiden dropping out of drafts. In Bounty Hunter's case, most of this change came due to a 27% increase in ban rate, another significant change while neither Spirit Breaker nor Crystal Maiden saw a change in individual picks or bans that broke the 95% confidence margin. Five other heroes saw significant changes in ban rate, with Anti-Mage, Bristleback, and Naga Siren taken out of more drafts than the previous day. As far as picks go, Disruptor saw more in-game action, while Winter Wyvern saw her picks drop off dramatically from 40% down to 13%. The shift into the final day of group stages continued to demonstrate an evolving metagame, with six different heroes having significant changes in overall pick slash ban rate. Bloodseeker, Clockwork, Io, Razor, Queen of Pain, and Silencer all saw significant increases in ban percentages, while Bounty Hunter wasn't taken out of the draft as much as the previous day. Witch Doctor and Io weren't picked as much, but the previously noted Sand King, Clinks, and Crystal Maiden all saw significant increases in times they were chosen. Finally, the big changes from the last day of the group stages to the bracket play. Due to the smaller number of games played each day in the bracket, we had to analyze all of the matches together in order to get a sample size large enough for significant calculations. In this case, it was comparing the 25 matches from the final day of the group stages to the 48 games in the playoffs. Also, keep in mind that the teams that stayed in the bracket longer will have more of their heroes in the data set, skewing the results their way. As you can see, there were a lot of shifts, with five heroes showing up in drafts more frequently, most notably the introduction of Luna to the metagame. At the same time, six other heroes dropped out of the drafting phase, including decreases in the heroes with the highest and third highest overall pick slash ban percentage this patch, Quap and Undying. While most of the heroes with increases in ban percentage had the change mirrored in significant shifts in pick slash ban percentage, Gyrocopter's increase in bans might explain why he was picked less, on the other hand, Shadow Fiend and Io were both removed from the draft significantly less. As far as in-game play goes, three heroes showed up as picks more frequently, while Gyro and Centaur Warrunner dropped off. It's also worth mentioning that both Lishrak and Gyrocopter were picked or banned in every single draft during TI5, joining Batrider as the only heroes to be in every draft at a TI since records started in patch 6.80. So there you have it. Keep in mind that the changes discussed here weren't the only changes in draft we saw. These were the significant ones with 95% confidence. That means the changes were so unlikely to be random variation that we could publish it in a scientific journal. For those of you who are curious about how the calculations were done, check the video description for the links on how to compare populations and the spreadsheet of calculations. Given that chance has been ruled out, why do you think these shifts happened? Let us know in the comment section below, and as always, enjoy the game.